Hey, 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 Taurus, this is Joseph Scribe Scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, September 15th to the 16th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there. Uh, Taurus, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Wait a minute, Taurus. I got this microphone working again, but I'm just going to make sure, I don't know, wasn't up high enough. So... Okay, Taurus, I'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment, but first, let me guess, ooh, we got the Fool, the Four of Swords, and that's for Taurus, ooh, the Tower, Taurus, and the Ace of Cups, holy schmoly, all right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. All right, let's get this message from Spirit and see what they have for you today. Focus on walking towards your dreams, Taurus. Take the opportunity to stop and smell the roses, but they're not wanting you to look backwards. Okay, looking back is going to cause distraction for you, Taurus. So keep your focus on the elements that are in front of you. They're showing me it again. If you turn around, it's like you're going to lose that momentum. For some of you, you have a momentum going or you will have this momentum going in life. And if you turn around, when you turn back around to, to get back on that ride, so to speak, it's going to throw you off. So don't get thrown off balance here. Maintain your balance by just just stepping one foot in front of the other, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm pretty adamant about that, Taurus, so pay attention. All right. Some sort of new beginning that's happening, and it could be in love. This is going to be very surprising for you, Taurus. This is... You've been doing a lot of healing, my Taurus is out there. And I feel it's like coming out of this healing, I want to say it's a new you. It's the same you, but it's a new version of you, a better version. And just as you're about to sort of take that leap, it's like I feel new love comes along. And it just takes you by surprise. Let's clarify. This is interesting. Tell me about the fool. Two of swords. Yeah. This is what, this is like being stuck. Some of you in the past, I'm feeling, were stuck. Indecisive. Not paying attention to your intuition. Possibly had a heart shock or a blockage. Ten of Pentacles. So with this healing you have here in the Ten of Pentacles, it's through this healing where you, I want to say, propagated abundance within you. That's why I'm, I'm really feeling this new version of you, Taurus, in a good way. Clarify this again. 
Yeah, four of wands. You found stability, or you're about to. You're coming out of a, a, a very difficult time. We did have that five of cups on the bottom of the deck. So you've been through some shit. Let's clarify this tower. I'll clarify this tower. Now, you could have been healing over a twin as well with the four of wands here. It doesn't have to be. The Empress, Taurus, or Libra energy. Now, this is your energy, Taurus. Is this Taurus, though? No. This could be a fellow Taurus or Libra. Whoever they are, they are an Emperor or an Empress. So it could be any sign, really. Tell me about this Empress. Ooh, I feel like somebody's been waiting for us. And I'm getting this background feeling, this somebody waiting in the background. We've got, oh wow, we've got a lot of cards here. We got the Queen of Cups. We've got the Hierophants, the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay, give me a moment here. Somebody's been waiting in the background, Taurus, possibly waiting to walk away from something. But I feel this walking away from something isn't necessarily like walking away from someone. It's it more has to do with themselves. It's it's a walking away from an old version of themselves. It's like the patterns of behavior that no longer serve them. So they're coming forward in a very optimistic way, offering love, offering commitment. And it is a spiritual connection here. They're finally able to leave something behind. And this has, in the past, I'm feeling past energy, nine of swords here. It's caused them anxiety about not stepping forward. So do you know this person? Okay, you know this person, Taurus, then. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords. You're going to get fast, quick communication. This communication has been held back, like I said, over here. How are you going to respond to this? Temperance. More healing. Embracing of change, though. Hmm. I feel you're gonna, there's something about this that is very healing, especially if this is a past person. Like if this is a person, I do feel you know the person. It doesn't mean necessarily that you had a relationship with them. Although for some of you, I am feeling that. Five of swords. Yeah, it's this energy that you're healing. Okay. I feel like whoever this person is, if this person, you know them from a past relationship, you see them as a liar. Yeah, devil energy. It was a toxic relationship. It could be a Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles. The very least, it's an opportunity for healing. But it is also an opportunity for love. Because like I said, I'm feeling a mixture. Old, new, and some you just know of this person. Three of Swords and Nine of Pentacles. If this is a past person, this person broke your heart, but you've healed. You've become this Nine of Pentacles. So what is your advice if this is a past person? I'll get one for the past. Six of Cups. This is soulmate from a past life. This is appreciating the good times Taurus they're wanting you to remember the good times appreciate the good times this does not mean you need to take them back or have to take them back they're just trying to get you to look at the positives within their relationship this is a person that 
you know but didn't have a relationship with. We have the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. This is a chance to have a relationship that is actually balanced and give and take. This is a chance from coming in from out of the cold with a love situation, uh, feeling a lack of, say. They're wanting you, if this is a new person, but you know them now, I'm really feeling you know them, then they're wanting you to open up your hearts and to be driven by the divine within you. So if the divine within you is pulling you towards this person, they're wanting you to go. Advice overall. Advice overall, Taurus. Ten of Wands. Release what is burdening you. Okay? The Lovers and the Magician. Yeah. This is going to clear the way, clear your path. Okay, clear that energy for manifesting of a soulmate here. Okay, and it's you that will get in your own way here with the lover's card. Okay, this is Gemini energy, Gem double Gemini here. Seven of Wands. Something's worth fighting for here. Now that could pertain to the old or the new because this is overall energy that I asked. All right, Taurus, it's going to be up to you, essentially. If you enjoyed this, if it resonated, please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below to my Etsy shop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you have a Fabulous day, Taurus, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.